welcome to a brand new review on Flick Fanatics. I'm with Forrest and John. I'm Matt. We saw Crimson Peak. In the aftermath of a family tragedy, an aspiring author is torn between love for her childhood friend and the temptation of a mysterious outsider. Trying to escape the ghosts of her past, she is swept away to a house that breathes, bleeds, and remembers. Crimson Peak. Crimson Peak, 2015. Rated R for a lot of shit. A lot of, a lot of stuff. New Del Toro film. What did you guys think going in? What were your first impressions of the movie? Um, well, when I think Guillermo del Toro, I think monsters, and uh, there were a few, a few ghosts. Yeah. Cool. What do what you about think, you, John? Yeah, I was I was super stoked for this. Uh, I like all of del Toro's films, um, so yeah, I was really excited going in. With all the ghosts and getting the spooky vibes in Halloween time, kind of you know. Yeah. CGI ghosts also mixed with practical ghosts. Real ghosts. I was scared a little bit. Right, well, I'm gonna go and say that the uh, production design, especially uh, costume design, and uh, the way that things were colored, were was a really strong element for the movie. Um, I mean, you got your obvious the crimson red when they get to the place, but um, well, you know, yeah, it was like a, <laughs> and like. Everybody's outfits, especially, um, what was the main character's girl name? Edith. Edith. Yeah, the costumes, the, the production design, the the overall look of the film. Aesthetics. I would say it was one of the most impressive parts uh, from my perspective. The music cues and the sound on the IMAX screen and the IMAX speakers was, was very alarming. There was a lot of parts that where the music was kind of just coming in at the perfect moments mm -hmm. to throw you off, mm -hmm. to make you grab your popcorn. Um, yeah, and it's not a movie to eat popcorn to, that's yeah. for sure. Oh yeah, get a pretzel or something. Yeah, get a pretzel or some nachos. This movie, this movie, some ghosts over there? This movie should be uh, up for uh, costume design. I mean, it captures the time period, like, Flawlessly, I thought. Yeah, that's and when you think, and add some flair to it. And add some flair. And when you think about the sets, you know, there's like mm -hmm. the whole town where she grew up and everything. Yeah. It's like you recreate like a whole time era. It's, it was really impressive. And then the actual mansion that they built. To make that happen. Right. You know? It takes a village. And then I liked, um, like you said, the pr uh, colors, the practical mix with the CGI for the ghosts. And it's filmed very well. I mean, Del Toro knows how to direct a movie. Yes. And I agree with Matt on the music. I mean, yeah, there's a lot solid. of pros to this. My cons are very far and few between. I actually, I'm just going to come right out and say it. I, I love this movie. Uh, there's some, like, it's it's over convoluted sometimes with the story and writing. Mm -hmm. um, but, like, it's really a simple story when you think about it. But there's so much, like, it takes so long to explain for such a simple story. Some of the writing's iffy, but it's not like enough for me to be like, oh, mediocre, you know? Mm. And honestly, that's kind of my only con. I don't have much negative things to say about the film, but I was kind of just, and this might have just been my night or, you know, but I never was too into it. I was kind of just like, okay, you know, following along. I never was too scared. And I don't know, maybe just that whole like, time era has never been too appealing for me so maybe it just didn't sync with me right but uh i don't know the movie i was impressed by it but i other than that it didn't do too much for me I don't know. and it's a hard movie to kind of sell it's really like a mystery thriller you say that now wait till you go home no i'm i'm gonna sleep fine tonight maybe <laughs> unless you, you start like acting like just, a ghost just at home you run through your kitchen or something yeah. or somebody yeah. ghosts and stuff <laughs> i don't know it's it's like a mystery ghost story with horror elements yeah, where where good. but the, you wouldn't get that from a commercial you wouldn't know this is a mystery it looks like a horror ghost like in they your face i mean it's a pro and con some of the sound was great and then there's parts of the sound where you could tell they're using one of the takes for the, the, the dialogue and then they're switching from shot to shot and the words are just not even matching up with their mouths and it's like 
is this part of the ghost, the spooky stuff, or right, is this just bad like editing? You know, like, yeah. yeah. So I was like, whoa, for a second. A and so that kind of, you know, threw me off a bit. Um, but I can't, you know, hate it all for that. But like you said, the story's pretty straightforward. I mean, it like does its own thing, but it doesn't feel super new. I don't think it's a bad movie. Um, I I was definitely impressed by a lot of it, but uh, I'll try and rate it objectively. <laughs> For me, maybe like a 6.6. 6. Out of 10? 6.66 6 out of 10. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Devil. But yeah, Ooh. six points. I wouldn't say this is like his best movie, but like all of his movies that have come out, I've enjoyed like greatly. Um, so it's hard to rank them and stuff, so I'm not going to, but I am going to give this movie for what it is and what I enjoyed out of it um, a 9 out of 10. I really liked it. I really, it, it was like a love letter to old uh, school filmmaking and like ghost horror movies. I'm sitting at like. Eight, eight-ish, you know. Yeah, it's eight-ish, you know. It's not eight-ish right now. It's pretty fucking late right now. But, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm dying. Uh, I'm dying tonight. <laughs> Ghosts come get me. No, you know, I th I'd say r I'd recommend it. You know, if you're into this kind of stuff, if you like Del Toro, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna like it. You know what I mean? What did you think of the movie? If you saw it, let us know. Uh, like the video if you liked it. Comment, subscribe for more content. Uh, we're gonna review. I want to see Steve Jobs. <laughs> I want to see Wish Hunter. No. <laughs> I want to see both. <laughs>